we got Kana back. He pl his pledge for Kana got her back. I didn't know you could do that. Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims 4. So in last episode, we had a breakup situation between Urza and Jalal. Yeah, Urza has settled in well because she moved in here and I don't know why everyone's here. Why is everyone here? I, I don't know, but I've been playing the game without recording for qu quite a bit. I caught up with the Saber 2 family, like spent some time with them, build, build a skill up, like Minerva's over there. I will get back to the other families. I will definitely get back to Grey's family. I might try to look at Mira Jane's family and Saber 2's family as well. But these guys are the main ones I play as, so I'm sorry for the favoritism. <laughs> And here is Nashi with a new hairstyle. She looks so adorable with it. But there's some glitch where her hair goes black in the bath. And I've tried to fix that, but it's just a glitch, unfortunately. You know what, we need to start socializing with people, so let's go. See, I don't really socialize with people at all. I just always turn down the invitation. Because <laughs> I can't be bothered going through the loading screen mainly. I just can't be bothered going through it. I want to bring Natsu here too, just so you know, just get some brother time. I feel like we should get um, get him to having some brother moments. I love him so much, but drag nail brothers are so cute. Oh look at Natsu go, he's willing to try it. He is, he is the fire dragon slayer. Yeah boy, that's Natsu. You're not used to eating spicy food? He looks so unhappy. Yeah, you're a fire dragon slayer. You gotta be doing that. Oh, Natsu wants to cook. Interesting. I look at Urza in a work outfit. She looks stunning. That's just Zaref in between. I'm being antisocial. She wants to call someone. She's feeling very sad. Well, sad. She's embarrassed. What's she embarrassed for? Happy's not happy. <laughs> Happy's not happy. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new save just in case. Actual, actual fairies in fairy tale. So now this is something I wanted to do for quite some time now because I got this model like a couple of episodes ago, but I was not wanting to do it yet. So now I'm gonna do it. What the heck happened to Panther Lily?
it made her in love with him. I don't think this fight's working, guys. This is a bad roleplay. Just saying. On. Oh, Urza kicked his ass. Oh my god, and they kissed as well. <laughs> they kiss and then they defy and they kiss. Right, you leave her be now. She's in love with you, leave her be. You want her in love with you because it's evil. Yeah, we just made love in a church. How awesome does that sound? Holy <laughs> she's dying. What's she dying for? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wh what? She died from being from laughter? <laughs> this isn't working. We got Kana back. He, his pledge for Kana got her back. I didn't know you could do that. You can plead people. You can plead him to keep him alive. Don't laugh again. I don't like the idea he's here right now. I like how Rufus just are like, I don't know what to do now because I didn't kill someone. Well, I didn't collect someone's soul. Oh my god, this is scary. His voice gets me so much. Oh god. Like, Grim Reaper scares me. But I enjoy my job. <laughs> this is so entertaining. I love this. Oh! She's starting to get it on with him. Good job. It's like a Beauty and the Beast story between these two. She is a fairy, he's the Grim Reaper. That is adorable. I'm not looking at him scary now. Ship them. Can you affect him? Yes, you can. Yes. Best friends now. So from here, I decided to play as Grey and Juvia. So here I am just customizing their home and I wasn't talking for the rest of the recording. So I'm going to be doing a talk over this part while I'm playing as Grey and Juvia. I have done the rest of this episode just with Grey and Juvia because I just wanted to give them more scene time and I thought it was cute to have them both live on their own in a nice small fairy tale cottage and I also think it's just, you know, something they would dream of, just them two living together and with family of course. 
I did quite enjoy playing as them both and uh, they, it was just so cute, they were cooking for each other, they were acting like a very perfect married couple, it was just so adorable, I, I just I just share them so much, I, I just love them. And obviously Natsu is still playing with dolls no matter what, <laughs> he's always playing with dolls. So Natsu and Lucy did drop by to say hello to Grey and Juvia. And you just see Grey and Juvia always interacting, it's adorable. If you want to know why they're glowing, it's because they both casted spells on each other, but not bad spells like Jalal did. Like, Grey's got the spell of creation, like Juvia cast creation spell on him, and Juvia's got that happy spell on her, so she's, you know, feeling flirty. And I really love this pose of Lucy there. So, to be honest with you guys, I was going to plan to do this fairy thing for a few episodes, but I actually got quite bored of playing with them as fairies because I know it's not my original save, and also I wouldn't be able to put the fairies back to humans. So I thought it was pretty pointless of me playing as them. I didn't really enjoy it later on when I realised it's kind of pointless playing as them because you're going to have to redo the progress stuff and everything later. And I did make Juvia pregnant in the fairies thing, but... It's not going to be canon in the original save, if you get me. <laughs> so this will be the only episode with them being fairies. I did enjoy using the fairies mod, so a huge credit to the person who created the fairies mod. If you guys want to try it, it'll be in the description. But like I said, there won't be any more episodes of this. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this very special, unusual episode and there will be a more fun and normal episode next time because I know the last two episodes have been a bit boring, I'm not sure for you guys, but thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting me. Have an amazing day as always. Goodbye!